Film technology owes a lot to Catherine Burr Blodgett, who lived from 1898 until 1979. She was the first female scientist hired by General Electric's research lab in Schenectady, New York. She was hired in 1917. She was also the first woman to earn a PhD in physics from Cambridge University, which she earned in 1926. Her most notable discovery involved non-reflective glass. Every photographer in the world owes non-reflective glass to Catherine Burr Blodgett. Her non-reflective glass was from a way to apply coatings to glass layer by layer, and these thin, thin films just naturally reduce glare on reflective surfaces. When you layer these things up to a particular thickness, they completely cancel out the reflection from the surface underneath, which resulted in the world's first 100% transparent or invisible glass. No reflections, no visibility. She patented this film process and it's been used for many purposes that include limiting distortions in eyeglasses, in microscopes, in telescopes, in cameras, and in projector lenses. She also made a breakthrough discovery in developing smoke screens during World War II, which can't, but, which can't help but have helped the war effort. And then she developed methods for de-icing airplane wings, which is very valuable to, the, to this day. She retired from GE in 1963, she acted in the Schenectady Civics Player, and she lived on Lake George in the Adirondack Mountains. Her first patent was uh, number U.S. patent number 2,220,860. It was issued in 1940 uh, for film structure and methods of preparation. Uh, she actually received three patents in 1940, eight, uh, 860, 861, and 862, all having to do with the low, no, uh, no reflective glass. Um, and then in 1950, she got a patent for uh, electrical indicator of mechanical expansion. And she continued to patent things through 1953. Her final patent was method of forming semiconducting layers on glass and article formed thereby. Quite the prolific and fascinating inventor was Catherine Burr Blodgett.